Yes, a $2,000 fourth stimulus check for the fixed income beneficiaries for those on a low income. The details, all that loaded information is right here in this video. We've got several who have commented, what about the recession? What about things going into a worse state? Will in fact they send out a $2,000 stimulus check? All that information is right here in this video. Stay tuned because you do not want to miss. Now, when it comes to Joe Biden and his administration, critics say Biden's COVID relief plan breaks promise of $2,000 stimulus checks. But that was back then. What about now? Now that 2023 is here, now that we're dealing with inflation, high interest rates, the Fed is definitely not helping out in any case, but just raising interest rates, making things harder on the American people. So yes, there have been several people like Elon Musk who urges the Fed to reserve course in its inflation fight as he fears the banking crisis is hitting the U.S. economy. When things hit the U.S. economy, that affects you, that affects me, those that live daily, every single day, trying to make ends meet, trying to stay afloat, trying to keep up with inflation. So he's wanting them to reverse their high interest rates that they're doing, that they're adding, that they're trying to get rid of this so-called inflation. But right now, it's not making anything better. And if they continue, then it's going to throw the United States into a deep, deep recession. Guys, we have a ton of information right here in this video. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for your chance to win a Amazon gift card. Yes, all you have to do is like and subscribe. Let us know that you joined the family for a chance to win tomorrow. We'll be doing that giveaway tomorrow. So with all of this news being said, what are we going to do if the U.S. falls into a recession? How are we going to handle it? How are we going to stay afloat? If things are hard now, then what is it going to do when things get harder? How are those that are on a low income, fixed income beneficiaries, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA, survivors, how are they supposed to accommodate with things getting even worse? As Elon Musk urged the Fed to reverse it, he knows that if you keep attacking the economy, sooner or later, people are not going to be able to afford anything. And so that leads us to our next article. Already past the point of no return, J.P. Morgan says the U.S. is probably headed for a recession as an economic engines are about to turn off. Look at this picture. There are businesses that are closing. There are banks that went out of business. And yet, what is it going to happen? Is that the first sign of the trickle-down effect that's going to let us know that we're about to enter into a recession. So who's going to stay afloat? How are we going to make it through this tough times? So let's go back to the $2,000 stimulus check. What is it going to take for Joe Biden and his administration to say it's time for us to send some relief to those that need it the most? Well, it'd be those on a low income. It'd be those on a fixed income. It'd be those that don't make over a certain amount every single year because it's crazy to know that here in the United States, you can make six figure income and still live paycheck to paycheck. I'm telling you, it's very rough. And yet again, with things like this happening, it doesn't make it any easier on the American people. For instance, right now, guess what? I've got some exciting news to tell you. There are actually states that are sending out stimulus checks this year and seven more that are considering to send them out. Knowing that there's a high possible chance that the U.S. could enter a recession, there are states that are taking watch, really looking and saying, we've held on to the money that we've had in case for a rainy day, the rainy day fund. So seven states considering more stimulus checks in 2023. Now, here's a big question. Why isn't every state sending out money? There are many, many thousands of viewers on this channel that have been asking for state stimulus check information for Alabama, Arizona, Texas, Nevada, Ohio, Iowa, Wisconsin. Yes, it can go on and on and on. And yet again, there hasn't been any provided updated information. But right here on the screen, we're going to dive in to see which states are actually considering sending out stimulus checks. So let's dive on the screen. You can see it right here. Seven states considering more stimulus checks in 2023. Maybe they know something that you and I don't know. Maybe they think, hey, we could go into a recession. That's why we held on to this money in case for a rainy day. 
So here we go. California, they're estimating $200 to $1,050 going back out to their residents. Idaho is looking at issuing $600 for married couples, $300 for joint. Maine, talking about $450 checks for single filers, $900 for joint. New Jersey is trying to offer $1,500 rebate check to residents who owned a home in 2019, $1,000 for those that yet have a high income, $450 for those that have less, $500 for every ITIN holder listed on the tax return. New Mexico trying to give $500 for filers and $1,000 for joint. Pennsylvania, $200 to $650 for qualifying homeowners, $500 or $650 for eligible renters, and up to $975 for senior citizens. Very, very great news there that Pennsylvania actually would consider separating a certain amount of money to directly give it to those seniors. So way to go to Pennsylvania. Last on the list, South Carolina trying to give out $800. That would be amazing if these seven states would duplicate what they did during the pandemic and say, we want to take care of our residents. We want to make sure that we're helping them out by giving them some additional money. Yes, a stimulus check to cope with inflation, to cope with things that are just so difficult right now to make ends meet. So will the U.S. fall into recession? Let me know down in the comments below because several celebrities, several people in the business industry are saying that the United States is heading there and that it will fall into by 2024 and it's just not going to be a good time. So plan now for then. Yet again, hopefully they will come up with sending out some stimulus checks for those that need it the most. The two thousand dollar stimulus checks that president joe biden promised himself hey guys i want to thank you so much for watching for tuning in today don't forget about the amazon gift card giveaway yes you have a chance to win if you want to better your chances join our membership for just two dollars and 99 cents it does this channel a whole lot your support means the world we couldn't do it without you but from the bottom of my heart thank you for your comments your love and your feedback for your encouraging words it takes a lot to find this news but we wanted to do it just for you because we love you i hope you have a great day thank you so much for watching stay tuned because i've got more videos on the way until next time I'm John Miro. Peace.